this is my first ever solo exhibition at a Focal Point Gallery in lovely South End on Sea. I suppose there's kind of sort of four basic elements to the show. There's this behind me is one of the um, wall drawings that I do. Uh, wall drawings, wall paintings, whatever, with uh, torn paper and glue. And uh, the title of this one is uh, Shit in the Flower Crop. So the idea is that it's kind of based around vandalised flower clocks from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from kind of uh, civil uh, memorials and things like that. Big metal wells. Um, and there's, there's two of them, but it's one piece. And uh, the title is, um, is uh, Well for Dog Walker, doubled. And um, I quite like dog walkers, because they're always the people that find the strangest things when they're out walking their dogs. And they're always the first people to find dead bodies as well, which I quite like. I suppose I did this because I, I was watching some episodes of um, The Prisoner, which is a science fiction serial from the um, uh, 60s, it's British. And um, they used a lava lamp in that as a kind of recurring motif. And that was before the uh, lava lamp got subsumed into the world of psychedelia and the world of uh, pop. And um, before the lava lamp was pop, it stood in for a kind of uh, a scientific experiment that was slightly sinister that the viewer didn't understand. And that's what I quite liked about it. It was something quite sinister that got subsumed quite quickly. This is a series of paintings of uh, uh, face jugs, which were all found near uh, London Wall or Barbican. And they're all in the Museum of London now. They're, they're kind of uh, medieval English pottery, um, which is just uh, sort of domestic wear, but they always had kind of faces on them. And this motif of the uh, man pulling at his own beard as well. Very common in um, English domestic wear from the time. It kind of stands in for sort of a, a frenzy of masturbation, apparently. But well, that's what they think. This whole series of paintings is called um, uh, Sadness Season Mushroom and Jug Paintings. It's acrylic paint uh, applied by uh, uh, flicking a toothbrush onto the back of Perspex and then finished off with spray paint and all sorts of masking tape and stuff like that. But it, it just gives quite a nice texture. And um, it's kind of similar to the wall drawings in that I don't really know what they're going to look like until the end, until I sort of turn it over, because I'm looking at the, the back of it while I'm doing it.